was he studying? Philosophy. Almost. He was a bit Russian, real story. A little bit Russian, he worked with kids. So in the morning, he didn't have uh, too many patients. So Intel just looked for the industrial doctor uh, to work only in the morning. So he said, okay, why not in the morning I work there, and uh, in the afternoon I work with kids. And then he said, oh, they're doing very cool things, and he became a, a software guy. And at the end, he ended up as a senior VP in India. Uh, so people claim that he is the best uh, programmer among all the institutions in the world. <laughs> the second best person in, uh, in Apple was what was is a professional. You may assume that Apple technology company. Yeah, he was a designer because uh, Steve Jobs really appreciate, he, he claimed that the design is good after his work, uh, people are really buying not the technology. Uh, the lead compiler team and be in IBM was a musician. He's a guy from Turkey. Interesting story because you know, in Europe there is a big uh, musical uh, contest called uh, 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 Eurovision. And the first song that was sent by, uh, uh, by Turkish to this uh, musical competition was written by him. So even though he was a leading and later on he became a very famous uh, compiler uh, person, so even today when you Go in Turkish, everybody know him by name because he is the hero of writing the first uh, song to the Eurovision. So, the little software in TRW, US based company, she was a piano player. By the way, another nice story. Because I asked her, I met with her, and I asked her, how come that? As a piano player, you become a sub engineer. And she said, oh, in order to get a master in piano playing, they ask us to study foreign language. So I had two chances. I could study French or Fortan. <laughs> so she chose Fortan. And she ended up in software. The best programmer in my team was actually a bus driver. So this is a little bit uh, typical to Israel because in the past he was a lawyer, but when he immigrated to Israel because lawyer uh, heavily depend on the language, he couldn't uh, work as a lawyer, so the only job that he found was a bus driver in a company. So he used to drive people from one place to another, and stay for there, uh, there for many hours. So he started uh, studying some programming. And one day after he knew how to program, so one day when he just drive people, they start discussing that they have an urgent problem in uh, uh, to, uh, to write programs and they don't have anyone that can do it. So hey, I can do it. Let's see this. The conclusion is very simple. If you do what you really like, many times, and if you have a very good background that you can convert from one direction to another, later on in life, not always, but many times, you have opportunities, and if you have the, the passion to make the change, you can do the change. You can do the change from computer science to musician, or from musician to computer science. But I think that, the, that you need to have the confidence that at least there are a few things that you can do and you are the best. If you have this confidence, if you have the background, you can succeed almost in anything that you will do in the future. So this is way, way more important than to decide if to study a, a computer science or something else. This is at least my uh, vision. 
So, we are almost at the end, so we have uh, some <coughs> uh, some conclusions. So, first of all, I start with the picture of what is my career path, and I ask. So again, here I will have a few question and answer to myself, which is the privilege when you prepare this slide you can do whatever you like. So, and if this career path was good or bad, and the answer, like many other things, it depends. It depends on what your targets. If your first target is to earn more money, I can tell you, working for many years in a large company like Intel or Microsoft, at the end of the day, you will get much more money than to move from the academia to industry or even to go to startups, etc. The only problem is that in large companies there are so many limitations that you need to decide what is your priority. But again, if your first priority is to get money from money, I did a very good job. So you had quite a few uh, chances to earn uh, much more money, and then I said, no, thank you, and I moved. So, if you look at an academic career, so staying full time at the university could be a much better choice for me. But again, there are other limitations. So, the main point at the end, the end of the day, each of us need to understand what are these or her priority in life and to plan his or her career accordingly and never ask yourself what would happen if I had another uh, priority in life. Because as far as we know, we don't have every try. At least we are not aware of it. So, another thing that many times uh, by people leaders don't follow, what is uh, better? So, this is quite crucial in many, many workplaces. Forward has the advantage not to take a risk. More than that, many, in many companies, you are getting promoted not for contributing, but, not, but uh, for avoiding uh, uh, making mistakes. So if you choose to be a leader, you always have the risk that you will make a mistake, and then uh, uh, it will, uh, uh, at the end of the day, will work against you. On the other hand, that is this fun. So, and the feeling to realize that I get it to initiate and become a successful product is incredible. So, again, depends on your uh, 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 willing, depend on your character, etc. There is no uh, uh, definite answer what is good, what is bad. I will skip this one, startup or companies, because they are all at the end. And just last but not least, always remember that right now, that it is not very rare that people reach the age of 100 and beyond. After work, you have many years. Which means that you need to make sure that you not devote your life only to work or only to a single a, a task that when it finished, you are doomed. So both financially, but even more important, you need to, be, to, 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 to build your career in such a way that it will have some kind of continuation. It doesn't need to be in the work that you're doing. It can be in parallel. But you need to be prepared to do something else. Many times you find out that this alternative, much earlier in the line, become the main track that you move to it. Because you have an opportunity. I'll finish with a, a short story when I just a, a graduated from school and worked in a company. And 
One of the best engineers that was there, uh, the company did very well, so he got a big bonus, and he was extremely happy. So I asked him, okay, so what are you are going to do? So he said, oh, I'm going to quit work. Why do I want to quit? To quit? Well, I always had the inspiration to be a teacher, but teachers never earn enough money. So now that I got this big bonus, I can quit and do what I really want to do in life. So, just by having some inspiration for other things, it can be hobby, it can be many things. Many times you have an opportunity to find out that this is very, very fruitful, even during your working time. I'll stop here, and if you have questions, uh, please. Thank you, Professor Ravi, for the most informative talk. Hope you all use your suggestions in creating the future. Uh, please raise your hand if you have any questions. We will pass the mic. Established companies that would have made a difference 
whether we want to get into Intel or Microsoft or whether we just want to support a startup that is happening in Vietnam. Thank you. Uh, well, we've had very good questions, and uh, yeah, in one hour I have to skip uh, uh, some of the things, but about predictions. Wisdom Chowdhury used to say that it is very hard to predict even the past. So it is true because uh, it is hard to predict. On the other hand, there are trends. And you can look at the trend and it is clear that things like that, most of us will work in different areas because they will be forced to move from one area to another. And tradition like that, the, the world is changing and there is no way to predict because the technology is progressing so fast that uh, there is no way that you can tell uh, how the market will look like uh, in few years. There are many other aspects like uh, uh, control of governments on what we are doing, uh, privacy, etc., etc. So, but this is a topic for another talk. So you cannot predict. So first of all, you need to be prepared, I cannot predict. And if you cannot predict, the only thing that you can do is do something which is similar to what you are doing in machine learning. Increase the probability that if you want to do something, the probability that it will happen will be high. So if your, if your basics are good, the probability that you will be flexible is very high. If you grab experience in more than one field, the probability that you could move is higher, but more than that, the probability that you are unique because only you or very few people has the, 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 the experience in particular these two areas 